Hey guys, welcome back to Yazar Gaming. So today I'm going to do a private lobby just to kind of talk about kills and talent points. Had a guy comment on one of my YouTube videos on, you know, what's the best talent points to start with. So we're going to do that while, you know, just messing around with a random character. You know, it's not going to be the longest video, but, you know, I just want to get out there for that guy. Let me see who it was, if I can find it. Let's see. Pull it up here real quick. Do, 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 do. If YouTube wants to, you know, load my comments anytime soon. So the guy, I'm not going to actually say his name because it looks like it's actual his name and not just like a Discord name or something, but he asked, can you make a video about skill points and what skills to first maxed out? How to farm kills video would be great as well. So I'm going to kind of just pop that all in, like an all in one essentially, and whatnot for them. So we're going to do that. Like I said, it's not going to be the longest video, but I'll get her done and all that. I'm going to go ahead and pause it till I get in the game. So you're not saying it for like another, you know, five minutes. All right. Of course, as soon as I said that, it's going to start going. Seems like the new trend. All right. So I'm going to do this based off if you don't have a donor hero. So Let's say you're gonna, we'll start off with tank. If you're gonna farm kills as tank, I roll Thor. And, you know, I don't have to go over his skills, I already did all that, you know, and whatnot, so. We're gonna go ahead and just max out some stuff. Okay, so. Grab these buffs and get setting in a spot real quick. So personally for me, what I do when I first started and what I think would be good is you know go with life and movement speed. Movement speed number one, you know, faster you can get away from the zombies, the better the longer you stay alive. And then life. And after life, do damage. And after damage. I start with minerals, just for the fact that starting with, you know, 5,000 minerals is really nice. You know, you can get your heroes up and buffed pretty nicely at the start of the game. It helps out tremendously. So that's personally what I do. After minerals, I'd probably go, oh... Any of the cheaper stuff like respawn speed, speed, shield regen, energy, stuff like that. I do all that stuff. Everything else after those four main ones, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. But, you know, keep... Where is it at? Like, ability rates, keep that for very last. Anything that costs a lot of points, like damage reduction... XP mod, you know, stuff like that, especially mastery, keep for the very end, because you don't want that at the very beginning. You know, you want to get everything else maxed out first, because if not, you're going to be struggling. You know, if you go right for damage reduction, you could already have, you know, if you did movement speed, you could already have movement speed maxed out with one point of damage reduction, you know? 
or you know halfway um, in minerals and stuff. But like I said, that's just personally for me. Now to farm kills, like I said, for tank I'd roll personally Thor. If you really want to farm kills, donate five dollars and get Alarak or even Artanis. Personally, I would go Alarak. He does way more damage, and you can glitch his lightning balls to be indefinite, and they rotate kills based off all classes. So, you know, if now you're going to be doing it solo class, like I said, I'm going to be doing this from a point of view of nobody, somebody with no donor heroes and whatnot. So, on Thor, you know, just find like a nice open, you don't want to stay here. If you're doing this, do it like this. Because you don't want anything blocking your line of sight. You know, pop healing station on auto cast. And, you know, runs and repeat. Just find a hero, you know, that's not gonna, that's not gonna take a lot of damage. Or, you know, that can hold their own, you know, um... For like support kills, for instance, you know, uh, adapt is really good because he can heal himself. You know, stuff like that. Um, for assault, I probably recommend Goliath. He's gonna probably do, you know, the best out of all of them. Let's see, assassin. You don't want to do Dark Templar. I know it sounds good, but you don't want to do Dark Templar. Because no mobs will attack you. But just pick a class that, you know, holds off a while. But that's personally what I would do to farm kills. And that or, you know, get a donor hero. The best one you could get if you got the $30 to drop is Kerrigan. Because all you gotta do is, once you get set up, just hold down E and stick like a quarter in there to keep your button pressed. Or put a weight on it, keep your button pressed for extinction, and you literally might wipe the whole map every time it comes up. It's easy farm kills for days. And then, what you're gonna want to do, like with boss rewards, you want to pick all the plus kills. You know, like the first one's plus two, and then plus one, plus one. That way you're getting like plus nine kills every time you kill something. That'll be your best way to farm, you know. But that's my that's my way of farming kills and talent points. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you got anything else, like question-wise, you want to see in a video. I'll gladly do it. You know, just comment. And let me know. I can't can't do it if I don't know you guys. Hope you guys stay safe and have a good one. See you all later.